Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the show day vlog. It is just before eight o'clock uh, and I am going to the gym now, going to get my final session of prep in, which is weird to say, it's not gonna be anything too hectic. It's just gonna be a full body pump cause I am competing tomorrow, so I don't wanna have doms on stage. But yeah, then the plan of action is to come home, pack away some final few bits and head to Cork. It's actually a jam packed day. I've got a lot to do today. Uh, I've already started packing, it was the food. I, had, I have to pack so much food, it's unbelievable. Let me show you. Okay, so this is literally just a bit of it. So I have my marshmallows, <laughs> my peanut butter, and my porridge for my porridge meal. I have all my supplements. I have some condiments, so ketchup and mustard. I have some bagels. And then over here, there's literally more. So more rice cakes, dark chocolate, whey protein. Sweet chili sauce, rice, seasoning, like I'm bringing the whole kitchen. But anyway, let's get on with it. I'm just after realizing that I didn't put a monster in the fridge, which is a disaster. Uh, so I might just get one in the gym. Let's go. Yeah, I'm heading out to Cork today. So this is the final session. Thanks, Emil. Okay, I am back from the gym, I have showered, uh, I have packed away the rest of my stuff and I'm just about to have my first meal of the day before uh, hitting the road to Cork. I'm actually a little bit tight on time. But yeah, I start carving up for the show yesterday. So yesterday I took in 350 grams of carbs and today I am gonna do the very same. So this is what I'm gonna have now. So here we have 150 grams of 0% yogurt. Uh, we have some whey protein, we have mixed berries and I have Sprinkled some sweet cinnamon on top and sweet cinnamon is unreal and it has to be sweet There's actually a difference between normal cinnamon and sweet cinnamon. So get on sweet cinnamon I don't know if anyone remembers but they used to sell these sweets called fireballs and sweet cinnamon tastes exactly like fireballs So moving on we also have some egg whites spinach and mushrooms and I prepared this last night because I knew I'd be a little bit tight on time uh, and I'm also gonna have a bagel slim with it as well. And I'm actually gonna slightly reduce my fiber intake over the next couple of days as well. Uh, hence the reason I am going for white slims instead of brown. But yeah, the reason that I'm doing that is because foods that are high in fiber obviously take a little bit longer to pass through your system. Uh, and I don't want too much food sitting in my stomach over the next couple of days. You know, I want to look tight on stage uh, and not bloated or anything like that. Yes, let's go. Okay, time to get all this in the car and get going. A little Prezi for H. Shh, don't tell her. Cork, baby. All right, so it is half 12 at the moment. We are on the road to Cork. We just stopped in a little garage there. It was actually jammers in there. It's uh, the All-Ireland weekend final. All-Ireland final weekend. Uh, so everywhere is just busy. But the plan of action now is to get down here. I have to register at the venue before six o'clock. Uh, I also have to do a polygraph test so I was randomly selected to do a polygraph test which is pretty much a lie detector test uh, where they're basically basically going to ask me if I am taking like drugs and stuff like that because it is a natural competition it's actually really good that they are like doing that kind of thing but at the same time it's a bit inconvenient that I got selected I had to plan like my trip around it so I had to rearrange uh, what time we were checking into our Airbnb at I had to rearrange my tan and all that stuff, uh, but yeah, it's fine now. Gonna get that done. And then after that, I have to get my tan done straight away. It's in the same venue, uh, so that's good, but it is a jam-packed day. Oh yeah, and Rach is sitting here with me behind the camera. Got herself a, what's this, Rach? Melon. 
Is that a melon? Yeah, it's two different types. Oh, very nice. I love melon. Good stuff. And what's in the bag, Rach? Actually, no, 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 no. You'll see what's in the bag. <laughs> Rach gave me a little sneak peek and oh my God, I cannot wait. Anyway, let's get going. Okay, I am running really late. My polygraph is at like half three and it is 20 past at the moment, but we just arrived. Uh, I am eating some rice cakes. I have the caramel ones and the sweet chili ones. I'm gonna combine the two. The sweet chili ones are definitely better, but the caramel are okay. I actually haven't even seen the apartment, so let's do a quick tour. It's really, really standard. It's hard to find a place in Cork. Like, this is probably the best place we could find. It was expensive as well. It was like 260 euro for two nights, something shit, anyway. Um, and yeah, it's actually okay. Let's see what else we have in here. It's just really basic. God, the bedroom is run. Yeah, it's literally like an empty shell. <laughs> I actually saw that in the picture and I was like, surely it's not going to be as bad as that, but that does not look good. <laughs> Bathroom was basic. It's really basic. It's alright though, it will do the job. The main reason I went for it is because it has a microwave and it kind of just has all of the amenities that I need. Like, do you know, if we stayed in a, in a hotel, yeah. it wouldn't have even had a fridge, maybe, so I didn't want to have to deal with that. Okay, so little update, it is five o'clock, I have registered. I actually, where's my registration number? 48, my lucky number, which is crazy. I'm only messing, no it isn't. <laughs> we, I also did the polygraph, it lasted like a solid hour and a half. It was really, really long. She had to do like a number of tests and if she wasn't happy with the results, then she would've went for longer. Uh, but I only had to do a max, or I only did three, so. I got out of there in the shortest possible time, which was good. But yeah, like it was pretty intense. I had like a load of things on my fingers. I had a blood pressure cuff on my arm. I had this strap around my chest that measures your breathing. But anyway, now the next little thing to tick off the list is my tan. So it's between quarter past five and quarter to six. And um, so yeah, I just have to wait around for a little bit. I'm currently sitting in the toilet, like a little loner. So I'm gonna go out, mingle a little bit with the other competitors and yeah. Alright, I'm just about to get sprayed. You're all set. Your time to shine. <laughs> okay, we are back in the penthouse department. <laughs> advertises a penthouse apartment by the way it is far from a penthouse apartment but i am just this is a nice view oh yeah no, no that's a nice view <laughs> friends. yeah but i need to crack on with my meals because it is like half seven now and i have a lot of eating to catch up on so uh, for my next meal i am going to have a full bag of this long grain rice do you want to come a little bit closer <laughs> <laughs> a full bag of this long grain rice so there's 70 grams of carbs in this and i am gonna have uh, some chicken with it as well which looks really really standard but i want to keep it basic and i'll probably put some ketchup on it as well weird uh, is that a weird combo <laughs> yeah. my tan is unbelievable i'm really really happy with it uh, i actually have to go back tomorrow so i don't actually know when when i watch this off tomorrow Rach, do i get darker or what happens or do i get no lighter? it'll develop overnight and then you wash it off in the morning okay so then you'll get another coat so you'll be Will I be darker than this on stage? Yeah. Will I? Yeah. Unreal. Okay, meal number three. That actually looks shit. I'm actually sorry if that is grossing people out right now. It's not that bad. It's not great either though. Rach, you're not watching your oats. Close one? Yeah. So one time, oh man! I used to put the bowl on the scales and throw the buttons in. Yeah. Then I realised they actually start to melt when they're in the bowl, so they get lighter. So you think you have like. Ah. Oh. But then. Oh, yeah. Wait. So if you want to have more and you don't want to feel guilty, put your bowl on the scales. Good tip, Rach. This is a cheeky addition. Ooh. Sorry. I actually have to have a bowl of oats as well. There won't be any buttons in it today. But let me give you just a sneak peek of what Rach has prepared for me. Jesus. And oh, I'm not even gonna tell you what's in there. I'll tell you tomorrow. Ridiculous. 30 grams. 
absolutely no chance that this bowl of oats was overflowing in the microwave, literally bigger than my head, which is an achievement uh, within itself. But final meal of the day, about to go in, literally just gonna chill out now and write yourself down with the porridge porn. Yeah, it's gonna chill out now in our penthouse apartment, do some penthouse apartment things, watch our flat screen TV. Oh, this is the life. It actually looks uncomfortable. It looks uncomfortable? Yeah. Life of a bar right here. comfortable. But yeah, we're gonna get an early night now. And hopefully wake up tomorrow looking huge. So we'll see you then. One of the best things that came out of prep was me discovering this ketchup and mustard combo. Honestly, it is so good. Mm. I did a poll on my Instagram story the other day and most people voted like against this combo saying it wasn't nice. Whoever voted that, fight me. Well yeah, let's talk about the plan of action today in terms of my food and stuff like that. So, in relation to carbs, what I'm gonna do is have just kind of regular servings of carbs every few hours leading up to the show. So it's about nine o'clock now and I'm gonna have this meal uh, which has 50 grams of carbs and I'm probably gonna have two more meals and if I need kind of more food after that, um, I am going to just snack on rice cakes. And then what else? In relation to water, um, I'm not gonna restrict water today or anything like that but I'm obviously not gonna like guzzle it down uh, because I don't want a big watery stomach on stage but uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna drink to thirst. So whenever I'm thirsty, I'll have a few sips of water uh, and leave it at that. And then the other thing that I'm kind of doing differently today is in relation to sodium. So I am just gonna lightly salt all my meals uh, with the goal to kind of maintain the fullness that I have and it will also help, well hopefully it will help, uh, facilitate the pump later on when I am pumping up backstage. What gym are you going to? Fit for less. There's a gym down here called Motivated Fitness. I'd really like to train there. I'm obviously not training today, uh, but the next time I'm here, I'm actually gonna go out of my way to train there because it looks so good. Why aren't you training there? Too far? Three and a half kilometers. Is that far? For a walk, yeah, kind of. Will you bring me back an espresso? Yes. Good. Anything for you, little showboy. <laughs> showboy. <laughs> Like that Jake Dark Fitness guy? No, you know the ones that like work in gyms and they're just not. <laughs> <laughs> you know the guy I'm talking about? Here! Ah. <laughs> you fucking know? Catch you on camera. <laughs> Slating PTs. I'm putting that in. No, don't put that in. Don't put that in. in. Alright, little update. So, it is like 2 o'clock now, I think. Yeah, it is just before 2 o'clock and we are kind of getting ready to hit the road. I'm just about to have my final main meal of the day. So, I'm going to have a little bit of protein sludge, which is basically uh, whey protein mixed with water and rice cakes as well. And I'll be snacking on these rice cakes uh, as needed from here on out, if that makes sense. I also kind of have... Uh, my stuff ready to go. I actually don't think you have seen my shorts. So I went for a bubblegum turquoise, as Rach put it. I don't know if that's the official colour. 
uh, but that is what I'll be wearing on stage. I have some resistance bands to help me pump up stack backstage before going on stage. Uh, I have some salt because that will also help with the pump, hopefully make me look uh, a little bit more vascular and things like that. So I'll be taking one teaspoon of that before the pump up. Uh, I have some more rice cakes here. Have some beta alanine. I have to go back down to my car as well uh, and get some citrulline malate because citrulline malate is also a good pump supplement. So yeah, that is the current situation and I have to say I'm feeling good. Like I'm not really feeling nervous at all. I feel like that might change, you know, as it gets closer. Uh, but right now I'm feeling really, really calm and I'm just looking forward to it. Like I'm looking forward to stepping on stage and just kind of taking it all in. I want to make sure that I do that. Like I don't want to let this whole kind of occasion past me and look back and be like I don't even remember that really you know I want to soak it in and just make the most of it like I've been prepping for this for pretty much 20 weeks and um, so yeah I need to make the most of it. Rage, yeah. is salt and vinegar rice cakes and protein sludge a weird combo? Yeah. Yeah. Very. Just think that to yourself look. I think prep is just mess me up. Okay, we have just arrived at the venue. It is just before three o'clock. I have my top up tan booked uh, for half three and then I am on stage, hopefully if things go to plan, uh, at about five o'clock. So that is the POA. I don't think I don't think I'll be able to talk much in there. Rachel probably have the camera as well. Uh, so yeah. It's weird because people watching this already actually know wh exactly where I came. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah, that is weird. I do actually want to say though, whatever does happen, um, yeah, like, I don't know, like a part of the reason that I did this was to like bring you all along on the journey. Uh, and I do really appreciate everyone who was like tuned in on Instagram, who was like tuned in on YouTube, who has sent me messages and just all that kind of stuff. So whatever happens today, uh, I do really, really appreciate it. Okay guys, quarter turn to your right. Left of number 40, we'll have 48. Woo! 42. 42. Either side. Quarter turn to your right. Quarter turn to your right. And quarter turn to your right. Okay, relax. Okay, <laughs> as you probably saw, that did not go to plan. I uh, did not place, but um, yeah, the standard on that stage today was just crazy, so I really don't have any complaints. Like, I'm kinda happy that that was the case. I don't feel like I was robbed or anything like that. Like, when I was pumping up backstage, for example, I just knew uh, that the standard was tough and that placing would be uh, a big ask. So, yeah, it is what it is Whoop. at the end of the day. And I just know if I was ever, oops, get out of this guy's way. If I was ever to compete again, settle down, Rach. <laughs> um, yeah, I just need to be a Hello. lot bigger. I think, like, I think I brought the leanness to the stage, uh, but I just think I lacked the size that, especially first and second place had. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, the plan of action now is to get our little asses home and eat some food. So I'm absolutely buzzing for that. Rach, explain to us what is in the lunchbox. <laughs> they are Biscoff slices. How did you make them? So basically the bottom part, it actually didn't go to plan. Okay. The recipe, but the bottom part is caramel and Biscoff biscuits. Oh my God. The top layer is milk chocolate with melted with Biscoff spread and then 
Biscoff biscuit sprinkled on top. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh my God, it's gooey. Mm. Happy to ease. That bit looks unreal as well. It's a Vogelson. No, it is. Are you good to go? Go. Okay. Mm. Is it nice? Mm. Amazing. Is it actually? Mm. I don't even want to try and explain it because it's just so good. Wow. Oh, hello there. <laughs> so the POA, we are going to watch the first episode of Power on Netflix. We have saved it. It was out last weekend, but we got it, or we didn't watch it last weekend. We're going to watch it now instead. And we obviously got ourselves a Domino's as well. So in here, there's garlic pizza bread. Who cares about that? Me and Rach got the same pizza. I will show you mine. Rach got a small. I got a medium. And the grand reveal. Oh, oh wow. my God. I have been craving this. Do you know when, like, when I was in Italy, like, the pizza in Italy is good, but nothing compares to Domino's. No, it really doesn't. Like, you always compare pizza to Domino's, and nothing beats it, so... Like, every time we got one in Italy, I was like, oh... Yeah, just like, it just, it just didn't live up. Like, no. even though it was real Italian pizza and all that stuff, I don't know, Domino's is just so much better. So, I got barbecue base. I got ham, tandoori chicken, jalapenos, uh, and pineapple as well. And for all you pineapple haters out there, shut up! And I haven't been craving much on this prep, I have to say, like my cravings have been pretty good. But every time I've taught a Domino's over the last <laughs> few weeks, I have got very excited. Okay. Get that in here. Mmm. Unreal. Unreal. Just as good as I remember. <laughs> but yeah, I am gonna wrap the video up there and before I go I want to give a massive shout out to this little rock over here in the corner I literally couldn't have done it without her. Honestly, you have been unreal. Also treated her to a little prezi <laughs> But yeah, that is that people. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Sorry that I couldn't uh, Bring the result that I was hoping for and that a lot of people were maybe hoping for as well Um. Well, yeah, that's just it at the end of the day, I suppose. And we will go again next time. Isn't that right, Rach? But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And I'll see you in the next one.